In this lesson, we will learn the names of the white keys on the piano keyboard. The white keys on the piano keyboard are named after the first seven letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. The best way to think of the musical alphabet, though, is to start with C and end with B. So the musical alphabet is C, D, E, F, G, then A, and B. The reason for this will become more apparent later on. Let's go ahead and find C on the piano keyboard. To do this, we will use our black keys as reference. C is always located directly left of a group of two black keys, like so. So here's a group of two black keys. C is always located directly to the left. Let's go ahead and find other C's on the piano keyboard. So here's a C, here's another C, and again I'm using my black keys as reference. I'm finding that group of two black keys to help me locate C. Now once you know where C is, finding all the other notes will be easy. Moving up or to the right on the piano keyboard moves you up in the musical alphabet. So here again is C. The next note up or to the right is D, followed by E, then F, then G, then A, followed by B, and then back to C again. And as you can see, C is still directly to the left of a group of two black keys. Now, you wouldn't want to count from C to find your other note names. That would take too long you want to be able to recognize your other notes by their positions relative to the black keys, just like we did when we found C. Let's go ahead and find our other notes. So let's start by finding the white notes that surround the groups of two black keys. Those white notes are C, D, and E. Again, C is the note directly to the left of a group of two black keys. So here's a group of two black keys, here's C. D is always in the middle of a group of two black keys, like so. And E is always to the right of a group of two black keys, like so. Now, let's find the white notes that surround the groups of three black keys. Those white notes are F, G, A, and B. So here's a group of three black keys. F is always located to the left of a group of three black keys. There's F. G is always between the first and second black key of a group of three black keys. So there's G. A is always between the second and third black key of a group of three black keys. Here's A. And B is always to the right of a group of three black keys. Here's B. Now here's an exercise you can do. Every day, go ahead and spend a few minutes finding and naming the notes on the piano keyboard. For example, you can start by finding all the C's like so. So again, use the black keys as your reference to help you locate C. And then, maybe you could do the same with F. And again, use those black keys as reference. And do that with every other note name. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Another exercise you can do is to play a random white note on the piano keyboard and see how fast you can get at naming that note. Again, use the black keys as a reference to help you find the name of that note.